Hi and welcome back to Andy's Tailgate Test Kitchen. I've got a special one for you today. A bit of a, a challenge, if you will. I got a tweet a couple weeks ago from a guy who calls himself at Isosceles Kramer. He said, crack dip, cream cheese, spicy breakfast sausage, Mexicorn, spicy rotel. It's already amazing, but if anyone could perfect it, it's you. Anytime you can fit the entirety of a recipe in a tweet, it's one of two things. It's bland or it's perfect. But I've got a few ideas I think I might be able to improve on. We're going to make four different kinds of crack dip today, and at the end I'm going to figure out which one tastes the best. So welcome to Andy's Tailgate Test Kitchen's Crack Dip Challenge. Now we're going to make our standard crack dip. The recipe is so simple, it fits in a tweet. Why is it called crack dip? Because it's insanely addictive. There's a bunch of different ways to make crack dip. You go on the internet, you're going to find a bunch of different recipes. This works for me, and it's one of the easiest ways to do it, so it will work for you too. Take ingredients, put in some rotel, but you can drain the rotel or not, that's up to you. I drain mine. Take your breakfast sausage, a little bit of Mexicorn, and you put the cream cheese on top. You'll notice the cream cheese you can't stir. Just put it over top of everything. You're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees. The whole thing's going to take about 30 minutes. But at about the 15 minute mark, you're going to pull it out and you're going to stir it together. Everything's going to be nice and melted and it's going to mix together and it's going to be delicious. Put it back in for 15 more minutes and you'll be ready to go. Now it's time for a crack dip fiesta. We've put a little Mexican spin on our crack dip recipe. We've pulled out the breakfast sausage. We've added chorizo. We've pulled out the rotel and added jalapeno salsa. We're also going to add a little Mexican blend cheese. Let's try this one. We're still going to use our Mexicorn because it's Mexican, so why not use some Mexicorn? Instead of the Rotel though, we're going to use a little jalapeno salsa. This is not tomatillo salsa, which is also green but is very mild. This is jalapeno, which is very hot. This one, when you put it with the cream cheese, is going to have a nice contrast. Now instead of our breakfast sausage, we use chorizo. We're going to put our Blanco cream cheese on top. And we almost forgot our Mexican blend cheese. So let's. Lift up the cream cheese a little bit because we want that cream cheese to kind of melt over everything. And we're ready to put that one in the oven. Okay, now we're going to add a southern twist. Now, you, you ask folks in Georgia or Alabama what they consider barbecue. Well, they're going to say pulled pork. So we got some pulled pork, chopped it up a little bit so it'll mix in to the dip a little finer. We also added some bacon because everything's better with bacon. And instead of Rotel, we're also going to go with peach salsa. So you can imagine you're in Georgia, or maybe you're in Chilton County, Alabama, where they grow the finest peaches on earth. This one is going to be a little more mellow, but you're definitely going to feel like you're in the South. All right, let's mix up our Southern salsa. Stick with the Mexicorn, put a little bit down there. Got our peach salsa. We're going to add our pork. And you don't need to smoke your own pork butt unless you just really want to and you want to eat some pulled pork but you can get it at your favorite barbecue place or even an average barbecue place because remember, it's covered in cream cheese. It's gonna taste great. Now we add our bacon, it's everything better. And then one more block of cream cheese and it's ready to go. Next, we're going with a little Southwest flavor and this will be our hottest crack dip. We've got a little brisket here. We've chopped it up so it'll mix into the dip. We've got a little Chipotle Cheddar Jack cheese Still got our Mexicorn, still got our cream cheese, black bean salsa instead of Rotel, habanero sauce. Probably applied fairly liberally. Just as before, start out with some Mexicorn. Now we add our black bean salsa, add our smoky chipotle cheddar jack, and now let's throw that brisket in there. Habanero sauce. That's probably, eh, well, a little more. Okay. Cream cheese on the top. Ready to go in the oven. What do you think, Lilu? Should we taste it? I suppose I have to pick a winner. Now, when you make crack dip, we all win. But one of these is better than the others. And that one is... Arriba! The Mexican crack dip. So get to the store. Buy some cream cheese, Mexican cheese blend, Mexicorn, jalapeno salsa, and chorizo. That's the whole thing. Put it all together and you're gonna have one happy tailgate. And please keep these recipes coming. 
It's a lot of fun to make them. It's a lot more fun to eat them. And remember, if a sports writer and old bass and how can make them, you can too. So, we turned the cameras off and I kept eating. And I realized I may have been mistaken. This Mexican is really good. But as you can see, I've now eaten about half of the Southern dip. It just, it's one of those that the first bite doesn't totally overwhelm you, but you keep going and you cannot stop, which is kind of the point of crack dip. So I'm gonna have to amend my judgment and give it to Southern, but I highly encourage you to do your own crack dip challenge and decide for yourself.